Here's just a little bit more maggot feeding fun for you guys. Um, you know, I keep talking about how I do anything I can to feed these nasty small high beetles and their babies to the chickens. And uh, lesson learned here, I will not be leaving any more beeswax cappings or any other sort of unattended combs unless I know that they are aired out and cleaned out because the beetles just have their way with anything they can find. This is actually some of the cappings that fell through from my uh, cappings tank. I had it suspended over another tank just in case the bees, you know, spilled any, and they did. And the beetles just absolutely went to town on both this and on the actual tub there are the cappings in it. So you walk by, you look in the tub full of cappings, and you think, hey, it looks good. Nothing in there, but look in here. All in there, a little beetle larva. And so now the chickens are just having, having fun with it. So anyway, no longer, no longer will I be, when I do, you know, I take off cappings or whatever, I'll just have to put them in a bucket full of water, rinse the honey off that way, and then melt them down. You know, I really would like to let the bees have it, let the bees stir it out. But down here with the beetles as bad as they are, I just can't have that risk. I can't be doing anything like this that essentially promotes the beetles. Uh, those are just beetle breeding ground. I can't have that. So anyway, we'll show you a little bit more of the chickens and talk a little bit more about the bees.